Hey YouTube, Maddie's 12 here with another collector's closet for you guys. Uh, it's still called collector's closet because that's where my wife makes to keep all of my stuff is still inside the closet. I don't get to put it out where people get to see it. It all still hangs up in the closet collecting dust and hiding from all of civilization because <laughs> that's where all of my stuff goes. It's stuffed up in the closet. So... Yeah, anyway, today I'm gonna to be showing off my sealed Starter Deck Pegasus, first edition. Uh, you guys can see here at the little Millennium Eyes, they are still sealed. Uh, ironically enough, Pegasus is the one that used the Millennium Eye. Uh, this was from the second run of Starter Decks. Uh, you had your original run, which was Kaiba and uh, Yugi, which came out in uh, 2002. Uh, this was from the second run of Starter Decks, which would have been a year, a year and a day, actually. Uh, they came out, the original ones came out on uh, March. March 29th, 2002, the Kaiba and the, and the Yugi. The Joey and the Pegasus came out March 30th, 2003. So one year and a day from the original release of the original Starter Decks came Pegasus and Joey. Uh, Pegasus, like I said, uh, released alongside the Joey. I think you got five of each in one of the displays. Uh, there's the Upper Deck logo back when UDE still ran... I still ran the show. Um, this came at a suggested, manufacturer suggested retail price of $9.99. That was the original price whenever you would get these uh, way back when. Um, mine is uh, still rather unique. Uh, this one is unpunched like the Joey uh, that I showed you guys in the previous video. Uh, my Pegasus one is also unpunched also so like this is the little the little hanging thing that you have normally seen them hanging on the uh, on the counters with. Uh, this one is not punched, so this one was never hung in a store. Uh, it is still a little worse for wear. Like, we got some wear around it and stuff, but, I mean, we are talking about this is, uh, what, 12 years old? So, um, you know, that happens with stuff that as it, as it gets older. Um, so, uh, yeah, Pegasus, uh... I did mention that the Joey was the first starter deck to ever be released with extra deck monsters. It had some fusion monsters in it. This was the first ever uh, starter deck that was released that had ritual uh, monsters in it. Of course, it had relinquished. You can see him right there. Uh, along with some of the other stuff in the uh, in the deck. I'm not going to go through all 50 cards. Uh, it came with 50 cards, 47 commons, two super rares, and one ultra. Uh, the ultra was, of course, the relinquished. Um, it came with the very first ever print of Toon Alligator. So the very first print of Toon Alligator is inside this, uh, this little box here. Um, Witch of the Black Forest came in it. Uh, one of my favorite cards of all time, Dream Clown. Uh, some of you guys that may have known me back when this was a relevant product, um, I used to play Clown Control, playing uh, uh, Dream Clown and Stumbling and uh, Crass Clown um, and all of that kind of stuff. And... Uh, and and playing uh, just uh, out as clown control. That was, was what we called it. Um, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon uh, came in this. Uh, this was again uh, one year uh, after the game had been released. So we were just now starting to get some uh, reprints. Uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon was one of the first major reprints. One of the first major cards that we saw that lost uh, some serious value whenever uh, the reprint uh, was, was put out. Uh, and of course course, yeah, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon was one of those. Uh, Toon Skull, Toon Summon Skull, uh, Toon Mermaid, Toon World, uh, Mango Rayoran, I believe was in this also. Uh, that would be all of the Toon monsters that were available at that time. And of course, like I said, the first ever print of Toon Alligator uh, is in here. Uh, some of the other significant reprints at the time, Dark Hole uh, and Monster Reborn, of course, those were already commons available out of the other other starter decks uh, so most players already had those as commons but you got them as super uh, dark hole is a super and you got um, 
Monster Reborn as an Ultra out of LOB. Uh, one of the major reprints that actually came out of this uh, that was actually significant to the game. Mystical Space Typhoon. Like you guys may, that, that may baffle some of you guys right now when you really stop and think about it because Mystical Space Typhoon has so many prints right now. Like it gets printed in every structure deck, every starter deck, gets all of them. Well, at the time that this was released, Mystical Space Typhoon only had the one print, and that was in the uh, Magic Ruler, which eventually became Spell Ruler, or MRL and SRL. So at the time that this was released, like there were people that would that would be digging through this to to get the Mystical Space Typhoon. It was that important at the time. Uh, and then of course the one card that came out of this that everybody was so excited about. I actually remember. Um, Picking it up from people because they didn't think it was that good whenever it first got released. Graceful Charity is in here. Uh, of course, one of the Trinity from the GOAT format. Graceful Charity, draw three cards, discard two. Uh, like everybody was just like, it doesn't gain any advantage. Pot of Greed actually gains you advantage. It doesn't gain you any advantage. Like it doesn't make any sense. Why would you play that? So uh, I traded for them. I picked them up. Uh, but Graceful Charity, you had to have three because when this deck was released, you got three of those, the three of that card. Graceful Charity at three was bonkers, guys. Like I can't even begin to explain how good Graceful Charity was uh, in this time frame. All right, so let's talk. Uh, let's talk value. Uh, value on this. Uh, like I said, the ma the manufacturer's suggested retail price upon release, like all of the other starters and structures, uh, is nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, of course, it is twelve years old. It is sealed. Uh, it's still in, in fairly good condition. Uh, on eBay, you can go find these right now in similar condition, between eighty and a hundred and twenty dollars. Um, it's kind of baffling, honestly, when you look at it. Like, I did not really expect this one to have that much value. Uh, but for whatever reason, uh, Pegasus has uh, a hold on this game. Like, the character of Pegasus, everybody just really loves that character. So on eBay, yeah, like, you can get one in similar condition between $80 and $120. Now, there are some on there that have been, like, open and still in near mint condition, all complete and everything. And you can pick those up for around $35 to $50. Um, like still with the box and everything inside. You know, like all of it's still complete and intact. And like that's still pretty cool if you want to be able to look at the cards and check those out. Um, but yeah, if you want it sealed in any form, uh, $80 is going to be the cheapest that you can find. Uh, and then of course like stuff like this and, and, and just... Uh, you know, it just adds more and more value to it. Um, so yeah, like between 80 to $120 on eBay, uh, on Amazon, they are anywhere between 90 and $150 for sealed. Uh, the one that was $150 was actually one that I saw that was mentioned unpunched. So, uh, that was the only one that I've ever seen of any of the starter decks that mentioned that it was unpunched. Uh, and it was for $150 on Amazon. Uh, and like that was just some of the uh, the prices that I saw on this between ninety and one hundred fifty dollars on Amazon and on eBay between eighty to one hundred twenty dollars. So uh, there you go, guys. That is the uh, sealed Pegasus first edition uh, starter deck. Uh, again, it was released in March thirtieth of two thousand and three. So this thing is old. It may be even older than some of you guys that are watching this right now. I don't know. I don't know how old my uh, demographic actually is, people that watch me. But yeah, so uh, there you go, guys. Like that's that's just another one of the things that I have setting up in my closet, collecting dust for no real apparent reason other than because I'm old and I collect odd things. So there you go, guys. I appreciate it. Subscribe, comment down below, and show us how much you love us.